Miriam is brilliant, fun girl, amazing actress, smart, beautiful, very caring. She's an inspiration. Most energetic, great girl. Very fashionable, so natural. I'm Miriam McDonald, and this is my life, unscripted. Hey guys, this is my house. Why don't you come in and I'll show you around. I live in this house with my mom and my dad and my sister and my dog. Miriam definitely showed an artistic side. She and her sister uh, have always been very, very creative in the ways they played. And um, when they were very young, had uh, complete imaginary worlds right down to imaginary languages that only they understood. This is so secretive. You guys are going to be the first ones ever to hear. Oh my god. Um, and then we would throw in a little bit of English, Dave, or Dave. Mm -hmm. For you, you're the one trying this. This is blueberry ice. It's really good, really. I like the egg and frozen yogurt. So this is my room. This is one of my rooms. It's the bigger of the two. The smaller one is where I sleep, and this is the one where I hang out. And for the most important part of the room, My style is very eclectic. I'm not necessarily bohemian or I'm not like a downtown dresser. I'm not a punk or I'm not, I don't fit into a mold. I'm just sort of what I like, I get and I wear. Then I love skirts and tank tops and tube tops and sandals and belts and purses. I'm very excited. I got the nicest jeans yesterday, but they're like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with them. They're the nicest jeans I've ever bought in my life. Phantom Planet's in there right now, but I'm also listening to Maroon 5 and the OC soundtrack, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Britney, Christina, Madonna. I grew up in Oakville, Ontario, sort of a suburb of Toronto, and I lived there till I was 14 years old, then I moved downtown. Miriam was always a really active, busy, busy little girl. I think the first activity I did was swimming lessons, and I loved it. So then I was like, Mommy, can I do more stuff? It's everything from synchronized swimming, um, competitive swimming, diving. I've been dancing all my life, ballet, jazz. Modern to tap, to hip hop. I've played piano, I've done singing lessons, I've played the recorder. I've done rock climbing. Running. Taekwondo. Soccer. I've... Boxing, of course, is the latest passion. Pretty much you name it, I've probably tried it. I first decided I wanted to be an actor or performer of some sort when I was probably I don't know, maybe six or seven years old, and I was doing my dance shows. And, and then I did Mr. Scrooge. I played Tiny Tim's sister. And that was the that was the first sort of professional job I ever had. And I just loved it, and I kept with it. Age level, it's okay. not something older. Or I think I was 12 years old at the time of my first Degrassi audition. This girl, Terry, shows up at school wearing a fur coat. Like, does she not realize that fur comes from murdered animals? Before Degrassi, I hadn't done anything too big, just sort of some commercials, some smaller TV shows, a couple episodes here and there. But when I found out about Degrassi, I was ecstatic. I was so excited. Are you kidding me? You rollerblading? Not here. Oh, God, OK. <laughs> just checking. See, this is sad. <laughs> Miriam definitely has a silly side. I think she has a lot of fun when she goes out with her friends, and I think that's when she's at her, her silliest and most relaxed. <laughs> that's a nice hat. I know, the sombreros are hot. Famous pictures of my summer. Everyone's like a girl. Horrible <laughs> race car. 
race car driver, but yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I, know. Um, I didn't even know she was on TV <laughs> for the first about five months that I met her. <laughs> it like, doesn't really make a difference, and I like that she like thinks that too. Usually we shop because that's usually all we do. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh my god. But it's beautiful. They had it built for her. Hey guys, this is Yorkville. This is one of the hottest shopping areas in Toronto, so we're gonna take a look around and see what we find. Let's go for it. Those are so cute. So cute. Little, like. <laughs> like, it's so dirty, but it's so perfect. It'd be so nice to hang around in. Man, I love it. Yeah. We seriously should. We will. I love it. We'll these. come back. Yeah, of course. Um, hot little car. When I get my license, that's what I'm going to be driving around. Okay, 7.15 a.m. call time, I know. 7.15 a.m. That means I'll be waking up at like 5.30. Oh my god. Yeah. What can you do? Becoming Emma. I can't take it. Everybody's staring at me everywhere I go. Hey guys, welcome to the Epitome headquarters. This is where we shoot Degrassi. I want you guys to come in and you can take a look around, see what you think. Are we on schedule today? Oh yeah! How many actors does it take to uh, break it off? Break off. <laughs> this is for Shane because he's so special. Thank you very much. Oh. Becoming Emma. See the transformation happen? She's naturally so beautiful, it doesn't take much. I really like the episodes when we're doing like a crazy 80s dance or something and you get to look all totally different from yourself. It's fun. It's rush, rush, rush. Get dressed in the morning, get into my car, get out here. And then when you're here, yeah, it's pretty much sit back, relax, let them do their thing. Right now, we're gonna tone Miriam's makeup down a bit so she looks more like Emma. Because her makeup, Emma's makeup, is very, very low key. She doesn't wear very much. Look up, honey. She's not a glamour girl. She's all into fighting causes. And her makeup is just very kind of wake up and head out of the house. Very minimal. I'm only in here about five minutes, but uh, I stay in here extra to gossip. She has all report. the inside stories. We demand it every Monday. She's the only one who knows where my boy's situation's at. And I'm done. Well, I don't know what I'm allowed to say about romance on set. I don't know what you guys already know. I know in the past, Aubrey and Andrea, AKA Jimmy and Hazel, had a little thing. I guess that was a year or two ago. And I think in sort of more ancient history, there might have been a past with Lauren Collins and Jake Epstein. We're talking eighth grade. Uh, recently, any relationships on set? I don't think so. Um, can we can go a million times. A yeah, we a can. Zillion. Yeah, a zillion. A <laughs> zillion. But we want to go on Tuesday. Yeah, but he can't go on Tuesday. When I first came into the show, I didn't know if I was going to get along with anybody, and I was kind of worried at the first meeting. Somehow, they cast everyone in a very compatible way. Like, we all get along so well. This is the Miriam cam. That's right. This is the Miriam. Miriam cam. OK, so this is where, you know, we hang out sometimes. Ryan and Melissa. Isn't it so? 
it's fantastic. And all of our sets and all that. Tonga. Daniel Clark is here, and I think he brought his dog. Yeah, I did. So I think Aubrey is in the tutoring room, and maybe Ryan. So let's go for us them. Hello, kids. Say hello to Aubrey. Well, I go to school with Aubrey, so I see him pretty much every day. I mean, it's probably. She's the most fun out of anybody here, definitely. Um, she's crazy at times, and her character's very subdued. And she plays very kind of calm, logical character, and that's not Miriam at all. She's like crazy fun. She's up for anything, and that's what I love about her. She's really, really a lot of fun. Oh, this is this is what craft services provide us to eat. It's a grilled, processed cheese sandwich. It's yummy. What's this, Mike? This is the one. Ketchup. Miriam is a great girl. She's very collected. She's very calm. She has a head on her shoulders. And um, and she. I think she really wants to bring something to the show. She really wants to express herself, and she really loves her craft. So that's, you know, what more can you say? I talked to Lauren and Stacy and Cassie and Andrea all online. We IM each other and stuff. And, um... I don't know, I go shopping with the girls a lot of the time because we shop in similar areas and stuff. We talk a lot, gossip. And I love playing Miriam's best friend. She's like my opposite. But I learn from her and she's, I think she's one of the best actors I know personally and she's just, she's really great. She's so natural on screen. Uh, Miriam's fantastic. She's, she's an inspiration. She's an amazing actress. She gets so into character and she's just brilliant. I, I'm, in, I'm in awe. Like, she's amazing. Hey, this is my dressing room. There's not a whole lot in here. I don't really spend too much time in here just to get dressed, leave my stuff, and, you know, study my scenes or whatever. I, I can't take it. Everybody's staring at me everywhere I go. Sean. You say it's a little awkward that he's right here and I'm right here, and I don't acknowledge that he's there until yeah. after that, but... Well, I think as long as you're playing your line on the wall... She's a different character for me, and okay. she's such a strong female okay. role model. If I, if I start my line at the door. Yeah. And I think I take pride in portraying a character like that. Emma Simpson. You mean Emma Nelson? Oh, I have a Diana Simpson. That's a mistake. OK. I mean, just because Mr. Simpson married my mom doesn't mean I automatically took his name. She didn't even do that. OK. Hello, feminism? You can find 100 different ways to play a scene. Miriam will give you 110. The first time Miriam walked in to an audition, I think I'd already seen about, oh, 100 or more Emmas. Literally, she stood out because she was the tallest. But I had to say something. Otherwise, I would just be adding to the problem. Right? Like, Emma was so passionate, and Miriam had that. She had this conviction in her performance all the way through, so she just always did it for me as a perfect Emma. I mean, for, for someone of her age, it's, it's amazing to work with. She's almost like a young Meryl Streep in many ways. And what, what we find interesting is how much she changes. Every season, she comes back as a whole new human being. You know, she's like reinventing herself. changed a lot, particularly between season three and season four. Um, she's always been a girl who was on the cusp of womanhood, but between seasons three and four, she really blossomed, and she's much more of a young woman right now. Doing the very emotional scenes for me isn't so difficult. Sometimes it's hard if you have to do it, you know, six times over, then turn around and then repeat it. What is it? Nothing. Then why do you look like you're gonna cry? Home's not too good right now, okay? There's a lot of intensity. You have to remain sort of focused in, in the moment um, while you're doing those scenes. 
but I really look forward to them. Like they're they're very rewarding to watch and to you just feel sort of empowered by them almost. I like emotions. Paige? Paige. If you tell anyone about this. I won't, honest. There is a psycho in our school, Emma, and no one is doing a damn thing about it. Well, we will, together. Okay, but I'm not so good at this whole protest thing. That's okay, because I am. Just don't call me cause girl, okay? I started boxing and taekwondo maybe three, four months ago because I just sort of wanted a change of pace and I wanted to try something new. And I really love it. It's different from anything I've done before and it's just very invigorating to be able to punch at something and kick at something. and. Not only does boxing get you really physically fit and, you know, on your toes and someone were to come up to you in a dark alley or whatever, you got some technique behind you. Um, any frustrations you build up throughout the day, just take it out on the bag, you know? Look back, good footwork. One stop set, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. She's uh, working on the left hook and the right uppercut right now, and uh, the defense as well. So she's a pleasure to work with because she's someone who's really um, enjoys life. She enjoys boxing, she enjoys her acting, and she puts uh, some passion into her life and into her work, and uh, it applies in her boxing as well. Nice and relaxed. One. One. And I think the punching is what really gets her. It's something she hasn't had in any of the other activities and uh, really lets her take out any kind of latent aggression and so on. Well, both my parents are incredibly helpful in helping me manage my schedules and driving me to and from all different places. Everything, like I could not be doing what I'm doing without them being as supportive as they are, which is really a blessing, I think, that they put aside their best interests in order to put me first, and I appreciate that. Doing Degrassi has given me so many great opportunities that I wouldn't have. If I wasn't part of the show, I get to meet a whole bunch of people when we do our fall launches or when we go to events and stuff like that. Um, I've got to travel. Probably one of the most fun weekends was the New York Teen People shoot for Degrassi, which was a couple weeks ago. That was a lot of fun. First of all, I love New York. Second of all, I want to come back. Like tomorrow. Third of all, I don't want to leave. Uh, shopping, I love the restaurants. I love to see. One day, like 12.30, and everything's still open. There's people around, and it's just like, yes, I have arrived. Traveling, I would absolutely love to do more of that. I'd, I'd love to go everywhere and anywhere. If someone gave me a ticket today, it doesn't, I don't care what it says on the ticket, I'd go. I would absolutely go. Okay, sweetie. Sully, sit. This is my six-year-old German Shepherd, Sully, and she was originally training to be a seeing eye dog, but she failed the program because they said she's too friendly. So we got to adopt her, and I'm very happy that she failed because she's the greatest dog ever, and I love her very much. Okay, sit down, baby.
The most important things in my life right now are my career, which is acting, and my friends, and my family, and my doggy. <laughs> good girl. You're a good girl, aren't you? What a good baby. Degrassi has given me exposure to different venues, and it's given me a chance to explore my acting and develop myself as an actress, and it's given me opportunities to meet people I never would have met before, and all the incredible friendships with all the cast and the crew and the everyone involved in the show. Let's go, baby. Come here, sugar. Sally. Sally, come. Sally. Good girl. Wherever I'm gonna be in 20 years, I'll look back at this time and look back at Degrassi and think, wow, that is, that is the stepping stone that led me to where I am today.